Warning, the Beardy Beer Bro Show contains use of alcohol, profanity, great thumbnails, and most importantly, terrible, terrible content. Drink responsibly. What the f*** has happened to Chloe Grace Moretz? She was once one of the brightest child stars in Hollywood, kicking ass in kick-ass, and then tearing throats as a vampire and let me in. But something has gone terribly wrong. As now, she's in movies like A Shadow in the Cloud, a movie where she basically fights a bat monster amidst a world war. And now, she's the lead in Mother Slash Android. A terrible movie with a terrible title. So basically, the actress has gone from protecting her baby from bat monsters in a pretty awful movie to now protecting her baby from killer androids in an even worse movie. I'll give the actress a little credit as she does genuinely put her all into these roles and is still a terrific actor. She just really needs a new agent. I'm Jerry Smith. All right. I'll just get to the pitch. Um, Chloe Grace Mortez, Gremlin Bat Rat Monster, Baby in a Bag, World War II, Explosions. I give you shadow in the cloud. <sighs> well, say something. Do you like it? Yes. You do? Yes. yes. Welcome to the Biddy Beer Bro Show. I'm Rob, and look, I know the trailer looks half decent, but all of the good moments are in the trailer. The zombie-esque android horde swarm is two seconds of the movie's runtime. And the pretty well-crafted, kind of gross visual effects on the androids you see in the trailer? Yep, you guessed it, are barely in the movie. The rest of the movie is just Chloe's character outacting all of her co-stars. People walking, people arguing, people camping, people talking... And a bunch of ideas stolen from much better movies like The Terminator. I'm going to give Mother Slash Android a 2 slash 10. It gets one point for Chloe Moretz acting and another point for the brief, kind of cool special effects on the damaged androids. The rest of the movie is quite simply long, boring trash. If you still want to watch this movie, and I highly urge you not to, but you don't want any spoilers... It's probably best to turn off now. As I'm going to break down the stupid plot the best I can, in keeping with the Android theme, I'm going to leave it to my Android counterpart. The Beardy Engineered Artificial Reading Droid, or as I prefer to be known, Beard. The movie actually starts out on a high note. There is some drama about Hit Girl being preggers and she's like oh no I hope a gremlin bat rat doesn't try to take my baby but discount young Will Smith is like I won't let that happen but then they go to a party because reasons. Her boyfriend then smashes perfectly good alcohol so Hit Girl goes to the bathroom to moan about discount Will Smith then all of a sudden there's this annoying noise that makes their robot butler go crazy and start killing the party guests, after the drunks play baseball with the robot's head they go outside to see that all the machines have turned on their human counterparts and everything has gone to shit. Then for unknown reasons a phone shoots a girl in the head. Kinda like that law-abiding citizen movie but nowhere near as good. We then flash forward in time and there's a bunch of camping hiking and arguing. Hit girl moans about her feet and discount Will Smith repeatedly tells her she needs all-star trainers then they find safety but standard army base idiots are standard army base idiots then it gets really exciting as they camp and argue and discount Will Smith talks about all-star trainers some more and then they decide to magically fix and ride a really loud motorbike not only is discount Will Smith an all-star trainers enthusiast he is also expert mechanic apparently. They ride the really loud motorbike through a forest which to no one's surprise alerts all the androids and some awful CG drones which in turn sees discount young Will Smith captured and hit girl meets a crazy man who's very much human who she initially doesn't trust but after he starts crying on her baby bump screaming they are all dead they are all dead she's like okay he's fine seems very human to me. Crazy man then gives her some invisibility armor made out of cable ties and they go and save discount young Will Smith from having his feet repeatedly stomped on. Crazy guy who's obviously not an android drives hit girl and discount Will Smith to a large human stronghold to give birth which she does via c-section meanwhile discount Will Smith has his feet cut off. She is then told invisibility armor made of cable ties do not exist then to no one's shock dun dun dun, crazy baby bump crying guy who is the most human acting person ever turns out to be an android and starts killing everyone. But don't you worry even after having a c-section and barely eaten or slept in ages hit girl in a wheelchair is smarter and more capable than all of the trained soldiers on site not only does she know to set off the android killing emp located in the base. 
something I guess the soldiers forgot about she also manages to kill the super spy baby bump crying android with a pistol again something those idiot soldiers couldn't do with all their lousy assault rifles she then manages to hold a door being pushed by about 50 androids that we are shown previously to have ridiculous strength but she thinks it's too easy and she decides she will give the androids a chance as she proceeds to hold the door with just one leg and set of the EMP at the same time. She then takes no feet Will Smith and her baby to Koreans and the Koreans look at discounts Will Smith and are like nah not taking him he's fucked. The Koreans then steal the baby and drive off. Discount no footed Will Smith can't deal with the fact that he can't wear his favorite all star trainers anymore and he dies off screen then Chloe walks off burns a photo of him and the movie ends. None of this is made up that's the entire movie so if that sounds like your cup of tea or pint of beer then be my guest don't say I didn't warn you. If you don't want me to go rogue and kill every human on the planet then make sure you subscribe to the Beardy Beer Bro Show and please human you stay tipsy.